fly called a lark in grey but I'm going to tie it in a style where it represents the actual fly coming off in the, lot in the river where it's actually got stuck. Some people call them cripples or stuck shuck type patterns. Now the fish find these irresistible, they really like them so then they're certainly worth having in your box. Now thread I'm going to be using is a uni 8-0 in yellow. Hook, the hook itself is a Camasan B100 it's a very light hook. In this case it's a size 16. Now what I'm going to do here is start at the eye of the hook and work my way down, putting down a layer of thread. Now the lacking grey will represent a few different flies that's coming off. Some say in the range like the pale wateries, small blue winged olives, things like this. And I say this one I will catch in all different sizes and as well as a standard dry fly. Now I brought the thread round the bend, but halfway down. Now for the shock, I'm going to use a material called Z yarn. This is from a Montana fly company. It's very good fibre. Just gives the impression of a shock. Now what I'm doing here is so I'm cutting it into so like a point. I don't want all the fibres to be too in line. I want them slightly messed up. And if they're to try and do that as well, what I'll do is I'll pull them in different, pull fibres through in different lengths see what they're like take away that extra long one there you want a slight taper into this length, I'm looking really at the length of the body just to the back just catch it on the side now what I do is take up about 3 or 4 turns now that's part of the body and then come in Trim away the length of the body to that point there. You want a good area for putting in a thorax and so on and a hackle. Around about three to four mil anyway. Four mil I would say more than more than anything. At this point I could have a wee quick look at the, the shock. I could trim a wee bit. I think it's too long. That looks about right for me. Then for the body, I'm using a a very pale olive frogs here, dubbing. Again, it's from the same company. It's ideal for these type of flies. Now, double in nice and light. To keep the body a wee bit thin, I'm going to actually, as I wind up and form the body, tie in the Z yarn as well. It's just to save bulk. It's times you've got to do this. Take your time, work your way up. If you miss one, go back, like I have there. Just come back round. Just take your time. Nice and tight. All the way up. Just form some kind of taper into the body. Like a nymph shape. Now there we are. Now I missed a couple. Trim away. That's fine. Now, the hackle I'm going to be using, it's just a cheap this is an Indian, it's a cock cape. Now as you see it's a kind of grizzle. That's really a nondescript type colour. It's dirty, it's got a bit of yellow in it, a natural colour, or cream. As well as the black and white. I find it works extremely well. I've used it for years in this fly, so I'm not going to change. I have used the grizzle hackle, but I find, like, if I'm fishing this fly, this is the most consistent than the grizzle or even a Cree hackle. Now I'm catching it on the side with the underside facing forward towards the eye. Trim away the, the stem, make sure it's tied in. Now get yourself a nice fine pair of hackle pliers and wind wind up. Now you probably have to wind these hackles up, practically use up the full hackle to get the amount of hackle you really need. They are quite sparse. If that was a genetic hackle, you would end up with to be too heavy. Now, just come across the thread, tie in the point. What I do here is just really concentrate and winding down towards the eye, tying in the hackle. Trim away the waist, 
plus anything going forward, just come in and trim that away. Again, in this point here. And then tidy up. Just watch so you don't catch any fibres. Bring your thread back up. Now there's about 2 mil from the eye there. This is the same way I would tie a spinner pattern. I lift these fibres up and bring the thread to the back and underneath. Really what you're doing is figure eight and underneath. Now to the back and again lift the hackle fibres up, bring the thread to the front and lock these in with a single turn. Basically that's lifting the hackle up so, so it sits in the surface more than breaking the surface. This will do the job for you at the back. Now for the wing, I'm going to use some Starling wing. It's a primary feather, a right and a left. Now I'm going to line these up so that you can see and draw them. So that when they're curving away from one another, you see the slight curve and they're curving away, but with the front of the feather facing forward. So when I come in, I want them to lie either side. Now you've got to line the tips up. Now you come in the lengthwise, you're looking for at least the full length of the hook. Just come in and sort of like fold them so they kind of go down the sides. Come up. You may catch one or two fackle fibres. I'm catching a catch too many. So I'm just going to pull them back. Come up and pinch and loop. Now take the thread round into your fingers. Hold the thread and then bring the thread back up and take it to and fall to the back, tighten up and then come back around with another one through your fingers. Nice and tight. Let's see how it's sitting. As you can see it's lying back. And that's the way you want it. Don't be frightened to length the heart of your wing because it sits nice in the surface and that's what the fish are looking for. It's basically just a fly stuck. And the more distressed looking times looks the better maybe the, the excess and then tidy up thread up and down now to finish off I'm going to get some dubbing more of the dubbing come down just tie in front this will give the impression I mean it's a nymph really in a way so you've got to give the impression both the dry fly and a nymph so that's the head area with the excess, just run it down, tidy up. Now anything going forward with the eye, all you have to do is stroke it back, do a turn to lock them back out of the way. Now the best way to varnish these flies, because there's not much of a head on them, is to rub some varnish onto the thread and go in and whip finish. So one, two, three, that's plenty. and trim away a thread.